Welcome to this video showing how to perform advanced searches for contract opportunities. In this video, we will show you how filters can help you build an advanced search. This video assumes that you already know the basics of searching SAM.gov and you want to learn about contract opportunities specifically. If you are looking for more general information on searching, including saving and downloading search results, please check out our video on how to search. While you can search and view many opportunities without signing in, many helpful functions like saving searches or following an item require you to be signed into your account. Let's begin at the Contract Opportunities landing page. Here, you can search contract opportunities by entering a keyword into the search bar. You must have a keyword to begin your search. The search bar on this page automatically limits your search to only the contract opportunities domain. Once you select the search icon, you can begin filtering on select criteria. The advanced search filters are available in these drop-down containers. The compact display allows you to see all of the options together. You have the option to add more filters if what you are looking for is not listed. Select More Filters, choose the filters you want, and then select Update and the filter will appear in the menu. Let's explore some of the available filters. On federal organizations, you can filter based on the name of a federal department or a sub-tier or you can use the associated code. You can select an option from the list that drops down when you select the filter. If you select the ellipsis icon, you can filter and browse organizations in a pop-up window. Note that if you want to search by a federal office name, you need to use the keyword search box. The dates filter allows you to filter on response date, date offers due, updated date, or since we've added this filter, publish date. You may choose a preset date, such as anytime, next day, next three months, or if you choose custom date, the filter container will expand and you can either type in the dates you're looking for or choose the calendar icon to browse and select the dates that you want. You can filter based on notice type. Select the drop-down arrow to show the various options such as special notice, sources sought, and pre-solicitation. The product or service information filter is where you can enter a NAICS code, a product and service code, or both. When you select the NAICS field, a list at the top level two-digit NAICS categories with their descriptions are displayed below the search box. If you start typing the first two digits of your code, you will see the full codes come up for that industry. You can scroll through the list and select the NAICS codes you want or enter a partial code or a full code to narrow the list. Then select more codes by pressing enter on your keyboard or selecting the code from the drop-down list. The search results update as you select more codes. Searching for PSCs from the filter menu works the same way. The set-aside filter allows you to filter on opportunities which have a portion of a contract award limited to certain types of small businesses. Note that it's not currently possible to search for opportunities that are not set-asides. That feature will be added in the future. You can filter on place of performance by entering the zip code or by state and province. You can enter multiple zip codes or states. The Contract Awardee filter allows you to filter on the name, unique entity ID number, or awardee location. 
In the entity name field, as you begin typing, the results will auto-populate in the menu below and you can then make a selection. The unique entity ID field works the same way. You can filter results based off either active or inactive contract status. You will see that active is checked by default. If you wish to view inactive opportunities, check the box for inactive. One item of note is that the keyword search bar above the search results will start an entirely new search. If you are wanting just to modify your current search, use the bar on the side. Now let's talk about the differences between keywords and filters and how they affect your search. You must use a keyword to start any search. We'll begin with the term site preparation. If you use more than one word, the search engine will treat that as a phrase. If we now add another keyword, storage, the search tool will look for any record containing one or some or all of the words, resulting in an increase in results. To refine the search, you must use filters. If we add a filter for the NAICS code 238910, which is Site Preparation Contractors, you can see that the number of results decreases significantly. If we add another filter for only combined synopsis solicitation types notices, the results refine further. When you combine filters and keywords, you can narrow in on exactly what you are searching for. Once you have filtered your search result, you may want to download the search results. So you can select Download from the Actions menu above the search results. You can download in CSV or PDF format. You may also save your search. This option saves your search filters and keywords so you can quickly run the same search again in the future. You can view a list of your saved searches by selecting the Save Searches button above your search results. Or by navigating to your workspace and selecting the Save Searches button under your profile information. If you would like to receive a notification when a new result is available for your saved search, go to your list of saved searches in your workspace Choose the Action button on the search and select Notify. You can turn notifications off the same way. Thank you for watching this video on Advanced Search for Contract Opportunities. Remember, you can search the Federal Service Desk Knowledge Base for additional videos and frequently asked questions, or get help with any technical issues at fsd.gov. To provide GSA feedback about features, functionalities, or about the user experience in SAM.gov, click the Feedback button located at the bottom of each page.